<laughs> Let's get into some things. Wait, am I allowed to say that? Is Nikki gonna sue me? I don't got Diddy money. <laughs> We talking about the queen when the queen's in the stool. <laughs> Nicki Minaj dropping a new album. I definitely got some thoughts about that. The queen of rap or self-proclaimed queen of rap has announced that she is dropping a new album in October. I think it's 10 23 23 or 10 20 23 something in that area sometime in October and surprisingly I feel like on the internet, on the apps, you get two different experiences because I feel on Twitter, the barbs living for the point, right? But then when I get on Instagram, they posted this on the shade room, they were dragging her. The drag? Hold on, wait, let me go through some of these tweets, y'all. I was shocked to see them bragging on her like that. I mean, I've got my own personal opinions about where I think I stand with Nicki Minaj and her music at this particular time. Barbs, relax. Relax. Don't try to snatch my edges because I don't even have any. <laughs> Used to love her once upon a time. It's just, I'm, I'm not happy with what she has done with her legacy. She's worked so hard, I feel like, to just, you know, get to this point, but here we are. But let's go through some of these. Somebody put October. She should have kept that news until September. <laughs> oh my God. Bye Felicia says, keep it moving. Nothing changes with her. Same thing. J. Cole says, and not J. Cole the rapper. J. Cole says, who else is dropping on that day? Cause this industry petty. I was thinking that too. I said it would be ironic if her and Cardi drop at the same time. I would love to see the good competition being that they can't stand each other. But she's also a Libra. So I feel like that will not um, Nikki Cardi. And I feel like that would be very interesting to see how that plays out. I was like, may the best woman win. Hmm? Like somebody put, okay, Onika, the girl who cried album. Like they were really dragging her in the comments. And then somebody flat out said, we don't really want the album. I'm gay. I just did not expect that kind of feedback for the Nicki Minaj. I really just wish that her and Cardi could just have a menage and get this over and I'm so sick of the beef. Ugh. We'll see. I, I, didn't, I didn't think she was going to put out another project. I thought she retired from music after dropping Queen. My personal thoughts even from Queen were that it wasn't her best work. Nicki could push her pen. She's been doing really great features. I felt like her features are either like hit or miss for me writing wise but the bars is the bars is boring. Like one thing we can't say about Nicki is that she can't rap. You can't say that. Um, I give credit where it's due, whether I like an artist or not, or how I personally feel about them, but we're talking about music catalog. She did what she was supposed to do. I just think all the drama that surrounds her and female artists is just going to, it's, what, it's just going to taint the experience of us actually getting to enjoy her and enjoy her music, like, and her legacy. You know, I think she's ruined it for all the hard work she's put in over the last decade. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like it's up in the air. The jury is still out on Nicki Minaj and potentially what this album is going to give. You know the bars is going to bar and stream it down. They're going to be streaming it on the TV, cell phone, computer, you know, wherever. But I just, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to give. I, I wouldn't say I'm nervous for her, but I just don't think it's going to hit the way we think it's going to hit. I think her competitor or her rival, if you will, Miss Cardi B, is probably a much more anticipated album. And I just don't know how she's going to follow up after Queen too. Cause like I said, Queen, I wouldn't say Queen was mid, but it definitely wasn't her best work. That's how I felt. Like she definitely had some bangers on it that I absolutely enjoyed. But then like cohesively as a project, I just was like, this was not my favorite piece. But you know, music is subjective. We'll just see what she's got to do. You know, she is a mother now, you know, she's a much more mature artist and hope, hopefully she'll be mature on the album, but we don't know. Cause you know, she lives in the land of the petty. Minus the fact that her last name is Betty. We gonna see what it's gonna give. We gonna see what it's gonna give. I'm wishing her all the best. I hope she just gives us some fun Instagram quotables for the summer. So there's that on that. Catch you on the next video. Peace.